Hello and welcome to Fridays with Friends. My name is Courtney Magnus and I'm an attorney in the Economic Advocacy and Community Health Unit at Coast to Coast Legal Aid. This month, we are dedicating Fridays with Friends to healthcare awareness and today we are focusing on mental health awareness. I am joined by Wayne Kostman and Tyronique Brown from Broward House. Um, would each of you like to just introduce yourself briefly? Sure, I'll go, I'll go first, sorry. Or, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tyronique Brown. Um, I am a care counselor here with Broward House. Um, I've been here for a little under six months and I work in the Career Paths program. And my name is Wayne. I'm a behavioral health therapist and I work in the um, positive healing program. I've been with Broward House for almost three years and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Well, thank you both so much for joining us. We're happy to have you today. Wayne, can you start out by telling us a little bit about the mission of Broward House? Yeah, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't miss anything. Perfect. Um, so our mission here is to improve the quality of life for individuals impacted with chronic health concerns and challenges, including HIV, and we help provide a pathway to wellness. And, you know, and our vision is to provide hope and healing uh, to our communities, com combating stigma, increasing knowledge and prevention. Great. And can you tell me a little bit more about the positive healing program that you work with? Sure. Um, so I've been in the positive healing program since October. Before that, I worked in, with Tyre, Ty, Tyronique in the Clear Path program. Um, and I was in that for two years. So the positive healing program is a, is a so to stress that it's a free service that we offer uh, to anyone who um, is eligible for Ryan White services and are also eligible for mental health services. So it's, it's a free service to our community. Um, and basically it's one-on-one -on -one support and um, it, it can be anything from having someone to talk to, you know, um, where we're just here to support you and provide unconditional um, unconditional support, you know, and then it could go and we can address anything else that you wish to address. And um, we have two therapists, including myself in the program. And, um, you know, it's, it's a very valuable, very, very valuable service. Right. Many of our clients here do struggle with trying to find free mental health services. So that definitely does sound like a great program that I will have to tell some of my clients about. Thank you. Um, Tyrone, can you tell us a little bit more about the CLEAR program and other services offered by Broward House? Sure, of course. Um, so the CLEAR Paths program is similar to positive healing, um, except it has a little twist on it, which I love about it. Um, it's non-traditional, meaning we can meet in clients' homes. Um, which I'll touch on, especially with COVID. We can meet in parks. I've met um, clients in parks who will walk the park. I've met in restaurants where we have a smoothie or maybe a cup of coffee and talk. Um, I've also even been to the beach, which is one of my favorite places. Um, and we just would sit, you know, near the, near the sand and just, you know, have a, a counseling session in the open, of course, private where the client feels comfortable with discussing their concerns. Um, it is a goal oriented program. So um, there's any type of any goal that the clients want to work on is what we support them in from behavioral health issues, substance abuse, um, life crisis. You know, we all go through things um, every day on um, personal development and even behavioral changes that they may want to work on. Um, and because we do meet in non-traditional settings, we do follow COVID pr um, procedures. So masks are required, um, usually six feet apart. You know, of course, if it's somewhere too open, like a restaurant, we may be a little closer, but we'll have a mask on. And I do symptom tracking with my clients. Um, so we do discuss if they maybe have a cough. Um, they are aware or they know to contact me and let me know if they're not feeling too well. And then we can conduct a phone session. Um, we also do ses um, sessions in the office. So we have clients coming into our office, which is located in Wilton Manors. Um, 
So yeah, it's it's just non-traditional, um, which I love about it because we we literally meet clients where they're at, and I love it. And the clients they they actually love it, um, especially those who may not be too open to a traditional setting. Um, they they know they need the counseling, but they may not want to sit on the couch and talk about it. So we can meet them, you know, wherever they're at. Um, and the wonderful thing about Private House is that we also offer other programs. So outside of behavioral health, um, we offer substance abuse, an intensive inpatient um, residential substance abuse program, which is a part of our assisted living facility, um, where we also house um, HIV positive clients who may have been discharged from the hospital with nowhere to go and have acute injuries, um, or also, like I say, going through the substance abuse program. We offer free HIV, STI, and Hep C testing, along with education and support, including um, community referrals, maybe to like CAN, which is one of our partnered, um, well, maybe not CAN, but other community health agencies that may offer um, preventative care for those clients. Um, and we also offer case management through Ryan White, so that's for HIV positive clients. Um, and then for those who may have been newly diagnosed, we have a more intensive disease case management program where we really help clients understand the disease and how to live with it. And last but not least, because <laughs> we <laughs> offer so much, <laughs> sorry, um, we do offer housing in, in multiple levels between independent housing, um, which we do own a couple buildings here in Broward County, as well as a voucher-based program through HOPWA, uh, where we, we uh, maintain a voucher and then we provide services to those clients as well. And, you know, if I could add, one of the great things about the services we do offer is that there's no limit to what we can address uh, with our clients. So especially during COVID, you know, we have these this extra layer of isolation and loneliness and, you know, we're separated from our loved ones and we, we have to communicate in a different way, way like we are now on, on Zoom, you know, so even... There are some differences in our program here between positive healing and clear. We service, we service, um, we, we, we have, it's like an open book, you know, we, we could be anything from just, hey, I need someone to talk to. And, you know, with COVID, we, we added that extra layer of, of connection. So we could do it on video, we could do it face to face, as, as Ty was saying, we can do it outside. We have a nice table in the back of our building where we could talk to clients and people looking for support. Um, and then anything as serious as um, depression and anxiety and addiction issues, relapse recovery. You know, it's really the, the gamut. Whatever, whatever is disturbing you, we have a service that would be able to help you move through it. Like you mentioned, now during COVID, um, mental health awareness is even more important than it normally is, and it's always very important. So it sounds like you guys are offering a lot of really great services to people. Um, you both mentioned some of the changes due to COVID, that you're offering telehealth, um, you're meeting in different locations, you're wearing masks. Um, it sounds like you are still meeting with people in the office as well. Um, are there any other changes due to COVID you'd like people to know about? Well, I mean, for myself, um, we do temperature checks when the clients come into the office, you know, um, wash your hands, all the basic hygiene um, CDC rules that we follow. Um, when you come to my office, I have an N95 mask waiting for you. I have one. We're over six feet apart and um, I have a nice little air purifier in my office. So, you know, we make it as safe and comfortable as possible and it's to the level of safety and comfortability that the client can accept. So if that doesn't work for you, we could do phone check-ins and we can, we, we, we both have the flexibility to, to accommodate what, what works for the client. Okay, great. And how can clients reach Broward House if they um, want to start getting services with you? Sure. Um, so for all of our services, um, anyone can contact us at 954-568-7373. Um, the receptionist who's wonderful, he will let you know if you tell him what you need, he'll point you in the right direction, um, whether it's case management, counseling, housing, or just a, a food bag if you're hungry, um, he will definitely point you in the right direction. Great. So here at Coast to Coast in my unit, the each unit, um, we work on social security disability cases, Medicare cases, food stamps, helping people with unemployment, a wide range of public benefits. 
Um, we do do social security disability cases for Ryan White qualified people. And um, I know a lot of people tend to think of more physical disabilities when they think of social security, but we do see many of our clients who are experiencing mental health conditions that interfere with their ability to work. Um, that's a lot of the clients we work with. Um, so it sounds like you guys have some great services um, that our clients can also utilize that could help their social security cases as well. Um, if there are anyone interested in social security cases at Coast to Coast Legal Aid, um, you can contact Manuela Felix at 954-736-2490. We do focus on either individuals who qualify for Ryan White or people um, where social security is trying to stop your benefits. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else that you would like to share about Broward House before we wrap up? Well, I think, I think a really great benefit to both our programs and utilizing Broward House is that we have that wraparound service. So not only would they get one-on-one um, -on -one support, they would also get a very extensive case management support where they can then work with you and, and myself or any counselor to meet all the different things that they, they have on their goals, right? So mm -hmm. we can help facilitate the applications and work with you and get the information. And as a team, we, we work really well together to really facilitate that. Yes, we do always really appreciate when there's great case managers and when the mental health providers are involved in the case and willing to help the client, it certainly makes you know, everything goes so much smoother for the client and their case, and it can really be beneficial. So we do really appreciate the services that you're providing. And thanks for giving us the opportunity to speak today with you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, thank you to our guests, Wayne Kosman and Tyronique Brown from Broward House. Thank you for watching and tune in Fridays at noon for more Fridays with Friends when we open the door to various services offered in Broward County. Thank you. Thank you.